Speaking. Marina, over here. Marina, over here. Hi. Okay. Uh, what was it like representing Ukraine in this fight, and did you feel an extra layer of pressure? Yeah, I have a lot of pressure. I nervous all uh, when start war in Ukraine. Uh, all this week, I feel nervous. I'm cry, but um, I try to focus. Many people don't know real, but uh, it was really hard for me because that I see in Ukraine. Uh, how um, terrible situations. It was really my heart almost cry. Um, but I did it. I, I focused and I didn't fight. Mm, yeah, you did amazing. Um, and you've had so many canceled fights recently because of the visa issues. Are there any specific fights that were canceled that you really want to reschedule? For me, it doesn't matter. I don't think about it, but I want to um, a little bit rest, a couple of weeks, and talk with coach, and maybe summer to back. For me, it doesn't matter. I want to back in the top 10, top 15. Uh, I'm ready for everything, for striking, for jiu-jitsu, wrestling. I'm a fighter. For me, it doesn't matter who will be my second opponent. And, and what's the status with your visa? Is everything sorted out for a while now, or have you extended for a couple years? Uh, first, uh, I, my visa finished, but I'm extended and uh, through I have like prepared for green cards, uh, but I didn't have right now green cards. I wait my uh, uh, permit work documents. So uh, one time, uh, like almost one year, I wait uh, uh, work documents because I cannot fight in. And you see a couple of times cancel fights, but uh, you see try to help for me, give me fights, uh, and uh, close the fights, cancel. But I want to say, you see, thank you very much. That happened, uh, it, it, yeah, many times cancel, and you see understand me and help me with documents, everything. Well, good luck on the green card. So, are you extending with your work permit for the next year? Yes. Okay, great. Um, and then, are you happy at flyweight? Are you considering moving divisions at all? Uh, oh, yeah, I feel good. I feel more energy because 115, oh my God, it's so terrible. Cut weight and I, I feel like I'm almost die. <laughs> now I can eat, I feel good. I feel more energy. I feel power. Fantastic. Well, congratulations on a great win. Bring up over here. Uh, a lot was made into the lead up to this fight. There was a lot of bad blood, a lot of interviews between the two of you. Uh, look, at the end, it looked like you shook her hand, Maria. Uh, so what did you tell her after this fight? I tell good luck next fight. We, have, we show good fight. Thank you for fighting. And only respect. Like, because she in Octagon, she fighter. Uh, all fighter in Octagon, I respect. I'm not like mad. Because if I will be mad, it's take my emotions, uh, my, my energy, take my energy. And I need my energy. So no emotions, like calm, respect, and that's it. Outside, doesn't matter. Leading to this fight, you were actually the betting underdog. Uh, do you think that's because the odds makers just forgot? I love it to be underdog. <laughs> when people think I'm underdog, I win. <laughs> Do you think this performance is enough to kind of, your next fight, like, do you think they forgot how talented you were and in your next fight, this was, well, in this fight, it was a reminder of what your skill set was and were you happy with your performance? Yeah, I think people forget about me because before uh, I didn't fight, I have records, uh, year 220. Uh, but, you know, you see Russian Instagram doesn't post at me after my fight. He blocked me. But after I give interview, he unblocked it, but never posted me. Only posted my opponent. It give me more energy for win this fight. <laughs> Who blocked you? Uh, you see Russian Instagram. Really? Yeah, block me. Do they explain why? Because I'm from Ukraine. 
how you, you mentioned your family in your interview in the cage how exactly have you been affected by what's happening in ukraine <clears throat> it's hard uh, i think my mother right now nervous uh, and i nervous about my mother i don't want to russian uh, people come and kill my family because many my friends die right now Many call at me, he died. Russian army are killed. And I feel terrible. And I don't, I, I feel every day feel, I, I think in somebody come and kill my family, I don't want. I want to, people listen, stop this, because I want to save my family. I'm very sorry that you're going through this and you represented your country wonderfully this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Marina right here. In the back, straight forward. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I want to ask. Obviously, you trained previously with uh, Maria. Was she different than what you remember when she was your teammate? No, she's not different. Um, she work like same. I see uh, every what she doing. She love it. Yeah, she before love it to grab back. I was ready for it. I was in my coaches. And she same. I cannot to say she different. I every every always to try to up my level. I always to try something to do different. Jiu jitsu, wrestling, striking. So she in the floor same like in ITT before. Um, I, I hope you understand. This is a more difficult question, and I don't know your beliefs. Uh, we've seen many of your countrymen um, go back to the Ukraine, Lomachenko, um, Usyk, and others. You're very fierce. You're obviously a warrior. When you saw what was happening, was there ever any thought about going back home? I cannot do back. Yes. I cannot do back because... Yeah. Visa, yeah, if I move, I need to be, take visa. So I need to stay in America. As a fighter, can I ask, what are your thoughts when you see the other combat sports athletes going back home to protect Ukraine? Um, I see, yeah, many uh, Klitschko, Usyk, Lomachenko, everybody to protection. It's amazing, guys really strong. Not in ring, outside, strong. Only respect for this guy. I'm sure many people back home are very excited and you give them a moment to distract from everything going on. What would be your message to your home country uh, if they're watching this right now? I want to say, uh, guys, stay strong. I hope it this war uh, fi finish. Uh, I believe it, and I love my country. Um, it's beautiful country. People kind, because look how people right now together. Many people back and try to support and protection country because really good country, nice, beautiful. Uh, uh, Beautiful everything and very good, delicious food. My family have farm, good, nice food. So I'm so miss. Best wishes tonight. Right over here. It's just after 4 a.m. in your home country. When is the next time you'll be able to make contact with your family and to tell them about your win tonight? I think I first I write message uh, and later I will be called. Maybe right now I can call uh, because my mother only wake up to Milky Way cow. So she wake up maybe four, five morning. Uh, so finish always interview, I will be call my family. Last question for me is, what's next for you? Uh, you've got the visa situation kind of handled for the meantime, but how do you celebrate tonight? And then what are the next steps for you? Uh, 
I want to back home, hug my uh, cats, <laughs> and uh, I want to travel a little bit, maybe a couple, maybe one week rest, a couple weeks, and back in gym, start to train and think about next fight. Thank you very much.